Today, a new grocery store made its debut on Long Island, while a longtime family-owned supermarket closed its doors for good. News 12 Long Island's Virginia Huey tells us that some Long Islanders are happy with the changes, while others have their concerns. One, two, three, cut. It's part of the changing face of supermarkets on Long Island. Amazon Fresh opened its first grocery store in New York today in Oceanside. We offer speed and convenience and not only also the freshest products that we have around. Amazon Fresh features walkout technology, allowing customers to use an Amazon app to pay digitally without going through checkout lanes. I love the way you buy things. Um, I have a Prime account. I just uh, scan my Prime account. I walk out. But for other first-time customers, it's just not the same as the traditional family-owned supermarkets. I don't think their prices at this point are that competitive. You know, I, I try to buy sale items like Stop and Shop or King Cullen. Stores like King Cullen are fading from Long Island's landscape. A half dozen have closed since 2014, the latest in Franklin Square, where today workers removed the sign marking the store's final day. That upsets me since I've been shopping here since it opened about 48 years ago. Michael Iglio hates to see his neighborhood supermarket close. Because they have seem to have everything I need and it's not like some of these very big places where it's not as friendly as the people are here. With the closing of this King Cullen here in Franklin Square, many residents say they're worried about losing an affordable and convenient place to buy their food. A lot of people come here with carts to do their shopping. You know, local people, older people, I don't know what they're going to do. It's kind of sad. Holiday Farms will be moving into the space next month. Assemblyman Edward Ross says the store's manager tells him the needs of the community will be met. It's important that Holiday Farms make sure they have both in terms of affordability and the types of items that people in Franklin Square are used to being able to get here at King Cullen. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. Now the King Cullen in Glen Cove is scheduled to close on July 28th.